Hey guys, I'll be taking a look at the current state of the 2021 California gubernatorial recall election. I think this will definitely be probably the most important race of all of 2021 as we witness the potential recall of the governor of the largest state in the union. So of course, Gavin Newsom was elected in 2018, defeating John Cox with almost 62% of the votes, winning by almost 24 percentage points, um, a landslide victory for Newsom after being Jerry Brown Brown's lieutenant governor for eight years. However, less than three years into his first term, he will now be facing a recall election. And this election will, of course, be in just two days on the 14th of September. So before we get started, make sure you join my Discord server if you have not. Link at the very top of the description below. I will also be streaming the recall election uh, on this channel on the 14th of September. It will start at 10 p.m. Eastern Time or 7 p.m. Pacific Time. So taking a look at the latest polls that have been released for this recall election, the numbers are definitely starting to look up for Gavin Newsom. They are, as of right now, at 56.2% in favor of keeping him to 41.6% who want to remove the governor. Um, these numbers are definitely much, much better than they were just a couple of weeks ago. If you look, you know, throughout almost the entirety of the month of August, Gavin Newsom was up 0.2% and then 1.2%. So these are pretty abysmal margins. Um, the polling was pretty light here in the month of August. It suddenly picked up as we entered the month of September. September, but as of right now, his numbers are going up. And this is definitely a very good sign for him as the recall is in just two days. So he's you know, he's getting this final boost in the last couple of days until the election. He has never led by a margin greater than 14.7 points during the entire duration of this race, which has lasted months um, since the recall was first initially confirmed. So as you can see here, Newsom is at 50% in almost every single poll, and that is very important. So for a recall election like this, uh, the incoming governor will need at least 50% of voters to vote not to remove him. Um, in 2003, this is the only recall election that we've seen in California's history. It was a successful recall as Arnold Schwarzenegger went on to become governor of California. So the previous governor was, uh, of course, Gray Davis, who was elected, re-elected actually in 2002 with 47% of the votes. He was the incumbent governor re-elected in 2002 and less than a year into his second term. He was recalled after most people, a majority of people, voted to recall him. He needed 50% to vote no, but over 55% of Californian voters voted yes in 2003. And that's why Arnold Schwarzenegger became governor. But these replacement candidates, they do not need 50%. Only the governor does. Everyone else, they only need a plurality as long as the governor is recalled. So if you were to look down here at the very bottom of this page here, Larry Elder leads by 20.7%. He only has 26, he only has 27.7%. 6% of support. But with that support, if he wins more votes than any of these other candidates, he will become the next governor of California as long as Gavin Newsom is recalled. He does not need anywhere close to 50%. 50 all he needs is more votes than all of the other replacement candidates. Um, for the other main replacement candidates, we have Larry Elder, who is a political talk show commentator. We have Kevin Pafroth, who is a financial uh, analyst and advisor, and he has his own YouTube channel. Kevin Faulkner is the former mayor of San Diego, and John Cox is a businessman and the 2018 candidate for governor for the Republican Party, who won just 38.1% of votes. Now, for these candidates, I mean, a lot of them really have no chance of winning, but a lot of them are running for 2022. Well, I definitely think that Gavin Newsom will be more vulnerable because it will be a normal race and he will be running against a solidified Republican nominee. Um, this time, it's just a big mess full of Democrats and Republicans, mostly Republicans, though, that are challenging Newsom. So a lot of them, they know they're not going to win this time, but they are running to get themselves set up well for 2022, which is just a little bit over a year away. So... Taking a look at these replacement polls, Larry Elder leads in almost all of them um, by big double-digit margins, and I fully expect him to be the winner of the replacement round, so he will probably be the top replacement choice um, at 27.6%, but one thing that's uh, important to note is that voters do not have to choose a replacement. They can leave this section of the ballot blank, which is why the numbers are so low, 27%, 7%, 5%, 5%. These are the percentage points for the top four candidates in the race. Um, you know, 
all of them, these all four of these candidates, they don't even add up uh, to 50 percent uh, of the vote. So there will be uh, around a third to almost um, maybe even almost half of voters leaving their ballots blank and not you know supporting any sort of replacement and voting no on this recall for Gavin Newsom. So. Right now on 538 plus 14.7%. If you want to take a look at this on Real Clear Politics, currently the margin is plus 15% against the recall. And on Real Clear Politics, the numbers have actually been worse for Gavin Newsom, as at one point, more of them wanted to actually remove him uh, than keep him at one point, of course, in August, uh, which was when he was doing the poorest. Um, and if we were to take a look at the betting odds for right now, definitely some pretty encouraging numbers for the governor. He is up at 93% in terms of his chances of retaining his governorship. This is the highest percentage point he has seen throughout the duration of this race. Coming in second, Larry Elder followed by Kevin Pafrath. Uh, for Larry Elder, he peaked at 25%. At one point, Larry Elder had a 1 in 4 chance of becoming the next governor of California. And at one point, Gavin Newsom was down at 68 percentage points. This was definitely abysmal for the incumbent governor. Um, Kevin Pafrath peaked at around 10, 12, even 13 percentage points in mid-August, but as of right now, Gavin Newsom has climbed to his highest point ever. Um, so I think right now, the governor of California uh, is in a very good position. I think the Democratic Party uh, has pulled this back. At one point, this was really a race that could have gone both ways. But right now, I think definitely the Democratic Party has the clear edge and taking a look at the votes that have already been submitted. So, of course, early voting has begun, especially with mail-in ballots. Uh, basically, they mailed the ballot to every single eligible voter in California out of the population of almost 40 million. They mailed ballots to 22. 2 million citizens uh, and 7.7 .7 million have already been returned. So that's a 35% return percentage with 14 million ballots remaining to be returned. Um, it's not going to reach 22%, but I think that definitely it's going to reach 10 million, maybe even 13 million, which is what we saw in 2018. So Looking at the ballots, of course, you can vote in person on the 14th, and there will be, of course, more ballots returned. Um, but by party affiliation, more Democrats are returning their ballots than any other group, with the other groups being the independents and the Republicans. So this is uh, their registration uh, by party. And definitely there will be some Democrats that vote to recall and some Republicans that do not vote to recall. But most of these independents, I do believe, are going to be mostly Democrats. Uh, this is a very Democratic state. It's the second most Democratic state in the Union besides Massachusetts. In 2020, it voted for Joe Biden by 29%. Only Massachusetts surpassed it at 33.5%. Uh, D.C. was, of course, 86.8%, but that really does not count. Um, it's, you know, it's literally the most democratic area in the entire country, Biden winning 92% of votes there. Um, but California is the second most liberal state in the country. So um, definitely most of these independents, a lot of them are going to be Democrats, um, just unregistered Democrats in that case. Um, for the demographics, as you can see, uh, pretty normal trends here, mostly the older voters having already returned their ballots, uh, the youngest age category from 18 to 34, 19% uh, return rate, although they make up a plurality of of, you know these age groups they only make up 15% of the votes returned by ethnic group white and other are at the very top followed by Latino Asian and African American. So these numbers right here, especially these numbers by party affiliation, uh, the selfie does put Gavin Newsom above 50% right now. We'll see what happens if the Republicans can get out their voters um, on the 14th to actually recall the governor. But as of right now, Gavin Newsom is in a pretty good position considering all the polling, um, as well as his current approval rating, which does sit in the positive, as well as the party registration of voters who have already returned their ballots in California. So. You know, you see Gavin Newsom is going to get almost all of his support from the West Coast, while the inland regions are probably going to be less supportive of, you know, a continuation of his term. Uh, and if you are to take a look at the second page uh, here, you'll find that the trend is negative for the Democratic Party. This is the percentage of returns that they've had. Uh, it is going down, but it's definitely not going down at any rate that is um, alarming for the Democratic Party as of right now. Um, you can see that trend line there. It is going down, but you know we only have two days until the election, and you can see you know the amount of white voters uh, or older voters was really high at the very beginning, but then it's starting to shrink now, um, with you know the 50 to 64 category also getting a huge amount of voters out, and the four ethnic group it's pretty much been stable, with white voters being the most common. Um, so taking a look at 
the RCP average as well as the 538 average. I think that right now, Gavin Newsom is in a very good position to win uh, his recall election by over 15 percentage points, making it a solid race. Uh, I think that he can definitely win by a landslide. Uh, the numbers are definitely pointing to a very strong victory for Gavin Newsom. He has a 94% uh, 94 chance of retaining his status as governor of California. And taking a look at this forecast, this is uh, one forecast that I do want to take a look at. Uh, with two days to go until the election, they give Gavin Newsom a 94.9% .9 chance of retaining uh, his governor governorship, while 5.1%, that goes to the odds of him being recalled and replaced. Um, the polling averages right now is 56% to 41, according uh, to race to the White House, and the projection currently is plus 15.7% in favor of Gavin Newsom, which is very close to the polling averages that we've seen on both 538 and RCP. So the replacement polling, as you can see here, around a third of voters are choosing to leave their ballots blank right now. 13% uh, are undecided, uh, you know, as many small candidates as well, um, a huge amount, uh, Caitlyn Jenner currently sits at 1.3%. Um, well, if you look at the big four candidates, Larry Elder, 25%, Kevin Paffroth, 7.6%, John Cox, 4.5%, and Kevin Faulkner, 4.5%. So I think that Kevin Faulkner, John Cox, they're going to battle it out for third place, while Paffroth will be second, um, and then Larry Elder, of course, in first place. Um, the trend line, of course, very positive for the Democratic Party uh, and Gavin Newsom. He has never been at a higher point in the entire duration of this race, which really started since his recall, uh, since the recall was confirmed many months ago in the summer. Um, the percentages of his winning are also higher than ever before, and the replacement polling, of course, Larry Elder at the very top. Um, I do want to take a look at his support by region here. Of course, most of the support he is going to get uh, from the Bay Area as well as Los Angeles, um, but, you know, he may lose the vote in many of these more rural counties, uh, especially in Southern California and the Central Valley. Um, you know, the current projected margin is plus 15.7, while polling right now plus 12.6, the partisan lean 1.8, and the last election 1.1. These are all the factors that are going into um, this projected margin on uh, race to the White House. So I think that definitely right now, Gavin Newsom, I think this is a pretty accurate uh, forecast for the two th for the recall election. Um, I think 15.7%, that's a very reasonable um, projection for this race. I would definitely agree to something um, near that as well. I think that the lowest it could go is 7%. Um, that's a very, very unlikely likely because I know that Gavin Newsom destroyed his opponent um, in 2018. If you were to go back uh, just a couple of years here, Gavin Newsom won by 23.9%, uh, 61.95 to John Cox's 38%. Uh, so I do think that it's going to be very, very unlikely that he gets recalled. I think there's absolutely no chance. Uh, I think if you think he's going to be recalled, I think you will be very disappointed in two days. But he is not going to be recalled. It's really just a margin at this point. I think he can go anywhere from 7 to maybe even 20 percent. I don't think he will surpass his margin of in 2018. I think that's just very hard to do. Um, so I do think 15 percent is a little bit high. I would put it more at 11 to 12 percent. I don't think it's going to be any sort of impressive margin, but I think that it's going to be a strong one and one that, you know, clearly states uh, that Gavin Newsom, you know, there's really no chance that he was going to be recalled in the first place, but it's not, it's not going to be anything spectacular for the governor. So thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like it down below if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you have not comment down below whether or not you think Gavin Newsom will be recalled join my discord server if you haven't link at the very top of the description below I will also of course be streaming the election uh, on the 14th at 7 p.m pacific time or 10 p.m eastern time or 9 p.m central so make sure you join that if you are available on the 14th and I'll be covering the results as they come in live so again thank you guys so so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one